I would love snow. My kids would love snow. If I'm staying at home, it will be fine. I love to see a white Christmas. Well, some in our area did wake up to snow this morning and they're hoping it sticks around for Christmas. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Andrew Dimbert. Chris and Anna have the weekend off, so we're going to get right to the story that everyone's talking about this weekend, the weather. Joseph Dames is joining us now with a first look at our forecast. Joseph. Yeah, we had some good snow in areas of the Gorge, uh, Hood River over towards the Dalles yesterday, up towards uh, parts of Washington today. This evening, at least for our Saturday, it's quiet right now in Portland. It's 35 degrees, dew points though down to the 20s. Uh, that's just showing that it's pretty dry out there, at least right now. But our temperatures could also drop fairly fast. It's because this east gorge wind at 16 miles per hour. So I expect our temperatures tonight to drop down into the 20s and to get pretty cold. We have 25 degrees currently in Hood River, Parkdale at 22, Troutdale at 33, and Corbett right now at 31 degrees. We're watching this big system off to the west. This area of low pressure is going to develop. It's going to start heading towards the Oregon and Washington coast as we go into tomorrow afternoon and that's going to start bringing in the rain and the potential for some snowfall as we go into our Sunday for this evening. Just some clouds, temperatures in the 30s, potentially some rain along the coast as we head into this evening. Now I'm tracking that rain and potentially some snowfall here in the metro up towards Vancouver. I'll talk about that coming up in my full forecast. Andrew. All right, thank you, Joseph. And a white Christmas came early for people in Cascade Locks. Snow is still on the ground this evening in many parts of that community. That's where we find Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling with a live look at the snowfall. Good evening, Andrew. Yeah, we got a lot of it on the ground right now, about half an inch here in Cascade Locks by Bridge of the Gods. As you can see, it's pretty flaky, so you're probably not going to be making many snowmen, but we did find some people earlier who had been in some snowball fights. Pretty magical here right now with the snow covering the landscape here. Now, of course, Cascade Locks was looking forward to a white Christmas, and they got their wish. There are lots of folks out and about today seeing the sights here. A lot of people from Portland and Vancouver coming here specifically to see the gorgeous landscape covered in white. We talked to one family who was visiting from Cambodia. The grandfather who lives in Vancouver brought them to Cascade Locks to experience the snow, which they don't have at home. We talked to them about their first impressions this afternoon. Well, we had um, lots of snowball fights. He, Betty June, he shoved snow under my coat. It was really cold. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but especially, you know, I want to take all the children, my children and my brother's children, two families together to, to show them the snow. The children enjoy the snow very much. All right, how about you? Uh, yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kids also told me that not many families celebrate Christmas in Cambodia and they were really looking forward to a visit from Santa on the 25th and they're heading back to the metro area tonight after their stop here and they were really trying to hurry back before the sunset because of concerns over some black ice. Now some of that snow from earlier was melting on the roads when we drove here to Cascade Locks. We noticed some wet spots and of course that's going to get cold overnight and turn into the dreaded black ice. So if you're heading out on 84 or you're in the gorge area, especially, you know, the winds have been going and it's really cold. So be cautious on the roads. Just look out for those ice spots. Back to you. Yeah, Jennifer, and it's still only going to get colder, so stay warm out there.